this is Virgil Labrador, Editor-in-Chief of Satellite Markets and Research. And we're here in Rugby, the UK, in the Midlands, uh, with Svigo Lot. Uh, he's the uh, Chairman of the Board of Satellite Media Port Services. And uh, here in the uh, beautiful uh, English countryside, uh, we're going on a tour of his uh, facility. And then to give us an overview of uh, what they do here is uh, Svi. So Svi, welcome to this video cast. You're welcome. Yeah. So Svi, for the benefit of our viewers who are not familiar with this uh, teleport, uh, could you give us an overview? you when you started this teleport and uh, what services you provide and what is unique about this teleport? My history, you know, with satellite communication goes way, way back, about 35 years. Mm -hmm. I uh, was the founder of Satlink mm -hmm. in Israel mm -hmm. and Skyvision mm -hmm. later on. Uh, in the last uh, 12 years, I'm involved with uh, Satellite Media Port. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is a fantastic teleport that was built on top of a nuclear bunker, mm -hmm. uh, about, uh, about eight acres mm -hmm. with about 43 antennas mm -hmm. and we are growing because we are entering into different fields of monitoring services as well as other things. Mm -hmm. uh, the teleport uh, was originally built by Walt Anderson, mm -hmm. one of the MCI guys, mm -hmm. probably a very colorful gentleman. Right. I uh, bought, uh, after I sold my companies in Israel, mm -hmm. uh, Satlink as well as uh, Skyvision, mm -hmm. uh, after a year, wanted to conquer the world again, mm -hmm. so I, there was the opportunity, I bought this teleport. Mm -hmm. uh, at the time, there were about uh, six antennas, five, six antennas, right now we have over 40. Mm -hmm. uh, our business model is very unique than any other teleport. Mm -hmm. we, we don't cater to end users, only to satellite operator and service providers. Mm -hmm. Service providers that know what they are doing. Mm -hmm. uh, we help to support them, to let them grow, to take all the headache of uh, infrastructure away from them. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have a very big pipe of uh, fiber to, the, to London, mm -hmm. to three points of presence in London. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, over 10 gig capacity. This is the Greenwich, mm -hmm. zero degrees, right. and we can see 60 west to 60 east. So mm -hmm. one of the slogan is 60 to 60, mm -hmm. and everything in between. Mm -hmm. We communicate with all the satellite, all the satellite right. uh, in that region, mm -hmm. you know, you've you've designed this teleport uh, very beautifully, if I may say. So you know, uh, the you landscaping live, you, is. You, you live know. once. I mean, the teleport, the teleport originally, mm -hmm. uh, when the previous owner, uh, the older owner, mm -hmm. uh, they put about invested over twenty million dollars mm -hmm. in this teleport. Mm -hmm. As I mentioned before, it was built uh, on top of a nuclear bunker. Mm -hmm. The nuclear bunker is right now serving as a knock mm -hmm. and it's our big knock. Mm -hmm. Uh, from there, we are going to change the world <laughs> <laughs> right. and to connect to everybody. Uh, we are very much involved with IP, right. uh, with, with uh, broadband as well as video distribution. Part of the pains of growing, uh, uh, adding a lot of services and more antennas to our customers, we had to spend a lot of money in the last three years. Well, in the last three years, we spent over uh, two and a half million dollars in core routers uh, to, to London. Uh, the pride and joy of our uh, teleport is the ability to monitor and control our services up to every gate that is open every bit we know where it is uh, that help us a lot and provide a, a, a fantastic level of reliability the data miners is, is the network that, uh, that Simon is going to explain a little bit you know we control every piece of gear in the teleport from this data miner we can control it from our home uh, our customer can see it, etc. So using the data miner, we can overwatch the RF infrastructure for every antenna, which are displayed on the front panel here. Um, apart from the RF, we can also monitor the power uh, usage, uh, any outages, any alarms, uh, or displayed on the front panel here. Uh, this system works 24-7, so we know every time something goes wrong, we have it instantly on the screen. Um, 
Yeah, we also have the environment sensor, so we have a humidity and temperature sensors in every room, so we uh, monitor that as well. This is part of uh, the teleport, and of course, if there would be a category mm -hmm. as the most beautiful teleport in the world, I think we'll get the first prize. <laughs> a lot of blood, sweat and tear was poured into this teleport, but mostly we are proud of the business model that we approached, mm -hmm. that we adapted. Mm -hmm. uh, it's provide us extremely reliability as well as cost effectiveness that we pass to our customer. Mm -hmm. Of course we are working to meet the challenge of the future right. with KA mm -hmm. and uh, as well as uh, the LEO mm -hmm. uh, network. Mm -hmm. uh, we purchase uh, additional land and infrastructure mm -hmm. uh, since, since we have uh, a, a lot of land around here mm -hmm. with uh, access, I mean, with a line of sight. Mm -hmm. uh, we are going to expand, we are going to add more mm -hmm. uh, antennas to, to, to be able to talk and mm -hmm. to handshake with every satellite uh, from our location. The future is here, mm -hmm. uh, it's very bright, and mm -hmm. we are open for this challenge uh, with the KA mm -hmm. as well as the LEO constellations. We are really very impressed by your teleport. It's beautiful, it's very well uh, designed and, uh, you know, uh, state of the art, I, I would say. I, I'm an old teleport man myself and, uh, and I've been through many teleports in the world and I'm, I'm very impressed. Uh, no questions about it. Uh, infrastructure mm -hmm. and it's important, but the most important thing are the people. Mm -hmm. And I'm very proud we have a fantastic team of engineers mm -hmm. from IP to mm -hmm. RF mm -hmm. that are the best. Mm -hmm. Right. And our customers are very happy with the support that they are getting. Right. Well, thank you very much, V.